Having a generator in your motor home is a great feature to have. You can run everything off of it without being plugged into shore power. Things like your microwave, your refrigerator, and your air conditioner. It's even better when it does it when you're away. I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach, and in this video, we're going to show you how to use the Energy Command 30 Auto Gen Start. Touring the Energy Command 30 display, the big button here is the start and stop button for the generator. Press down to prime, then press start until it fires up. The auto gen button here allows you to toggle through the three modes, manual, auto, and quiet time on. When you're in manual mode, you have to start and stop the generator. In auto on, you set up the parameters so the generator kicks on when those triggers are hit, and we are gonna do that in just a minute here. When you're in quiet on, this is going to be your quiet time. The generator will not start between the hours you have set. Moving to the set button, this is how you set the changes to items such as the time and the voltage. Once you make those changes, hit enter. The up and down button here has a few features. You can scroll through menus, choose settings, and change the value of items like the time and volts. The first thing you're going to want to do is get that clock set to the time zone you're in. So press the set button. Whatever is flashing and underlined is what you are about to change. Use the up and down keys to change the hour. Let it flash about three or four seconds. Now you can see the minute is flashing. You're good to set that. Once you have the time set, press enter. Now let's get that auto gen start set up. Using the arrows, tap until you see setup and info and hit enter. Now tap the arrow until setup auto is in the display. Tap down and we're going to input the start at volts. This sets the voltage to what the house battery can drop to before the generator kicks on. A quick tap down from there and we are at the time at start volts. This is the length of time the house battery will sit at the start volts before the generator fires up. You can choose anywhere from 5 to 60 seconds. The default setting is 15 seconds. Another step down and we are at stop at volts. This sets the volts the battery needs to hit to stop the generator. You can set it anywhere from 13.2 volts to 14 and a half. Let's give it another tap and we are at time at stop. This is how long the house battery volts stay above the stop at volts time. The default value is 60 seconds, but you can change it from one minute up to an hour. If you have the auto gen set to on, take note that when you start the RV and release the parking brake, as a safety precaution, the auto gen start will be disabled. So let's get that quiet time dialed in so we are not breaking those campsite rules. What quiet on does is prevent the generator from starting during the hours you have set. Press the up and down button until you get to QT start. Press set. Now just like setting the clock, you're going to set the time. When you have it where you want it, press enter. Now do the same procedure for QT end. In this setup, we have the generator not starting between the hours of 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. This display has a lot more info to show you. Press the up and down arrows to do a dive through the menu. You can do things like check the house battery level, the house battery volts, how long before you need service, how many hours are on the generator, and there are a few setup and info features in here as well. So let's go over the safety type menu. It comes set from the factory with ignition and brake as the defaults. The safety test actually keeps a record of the safety type input signal. If nothing has changed in 30 days, you're going to get a prompt to re-verify the safety inputs. And again, it's ignition and brake. HVAC run request is where you run your air conditioners to test the inputs to make sure everything is dialed in. That way, when the thermostat calls for AC cooling, the generator will kick on if it needs to. Under View Log, you can go back and see the last 10 commands. Finally, System Info is the version you are running. There is a lot more to learn about your Thor Motor Coach, and you are going to find all the information on the owner's resource page at thormotorcoach.com.